When I was a kid, my aspirations were simple. I wanted a dog, I wanted a house that had stairs in it, two floors for one family. I grew up with a disabled dad in a too small house with not much money in a starting to fail neighborhood, in a diverse city, in a country where an education can take you far. I had nothing or I had everything. It depends on which way you want to tell it. Well, my first childhood memory of my sister is her being just a baby. That cute little chubby face that she had. Michelle was more mature than her age from a very early age. Straight A's like, no, like nobody I've ever seen. If she was going to do something, she was going to be the best at it. Our dad worked the swing shifts. In spite of his handicap, he got up and went to work every day with a terrific spirit. He inspired us to be um, successful. I think my parents appreciated my feistiness, and I'm glad for it. It was a flame inside me. They wanted to keep lit. When she went to visit Craig at Princeton, she came home and said, I'm going to Princeton. She also said, if he can get in there, I know I'm getting in there. She did that. Let's go on to the next thing. You're a lawyer now. At the age of 25, you have an assistant. You wear an Armani suit and sign up for a subscription wine service and go to step aerobics after work. Because you can, you buy yourself a sob. A senior partner asks if you'll mentor an incoming summer associate, some hotshot law student. Like you, he's black and from Harvard. Other than that, you know nothing, just the name, and it's an honor. Barack Obama was late on day one. <laughs> I was late. I had never taken the train downtown before. It was raining that day. I wasn't fully equipped with an umbrella. The bottom line is, when I walk into Michelle's office, uh, not only am I late, I'm also kind of damp. So it's not clear whether I made the best impression. So he's getting out of the car, and I remember mom, you saying, ooh, he's tall. And then my dad said, too bad it won't last. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, she had gone through some boyfriends before me, and Michelle Robinson was a tough customer. I viewed it as a challenge. It's like Excalibur, you know? Only, only one person can remove the sword from the stone. It was me. When my dad died, it was such a surprise for us. So sudden. I was heartbroken, mom was heartbroken, Misha was heartbroken, we were all heartbroken. I stayed with him until he fell asleep that night, leaving the hospital in icy darkness, and by the time the sun came up, he'd be gone. My father had a heart attack and passed away that night, having given us absolutely everything. 